Hello folks, Major Gosnell here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your solar panels in stationaires. Now I'm going to show you two different ways, and I'm going to show you how to connect them to batteries to store power. First thing you're going to want to do is place down one of your solar panels, like so. Now you want to make sure the solar panel is aligned with the way the sun is rising. As you can see the sun is rising this way. So you're going to want to place it down, facing the sun, and always make sure that the power outlet is on the right hand side. If you look there, the little power icon is on your right hand side and the data point is on the left hand side. Place it down, like so, and that's now aligned with the sun. So we'll go from zero verticality all the way up to 100. Next thing you're going to need is your glass sheets. Just walk up to the solar panel, tap it in like so, and the glass is now in, and as you can see it's generating some power. However, it's not actually storing the power. So what you need to do, grab some cable, connect the cable to the power outlet, like so, grab a power controller, and when you're placing the power controller, make sure that the input, which is the arrow going into the power controller, is connected to the side running from the solar panel. And the output is running into whatever electronics you want it to be connected to. Next thing you're going to want to do is take out your crowbar and open the power control box. Now, as you can see, there's a little slot for a battery. Now, the power control will work without a battery, but it won't store any energy for nighttime use. So, take a battery and you spawn with an extra one and drop it in here. Now, it's still not powering because you have to switch it on by flicking the switch, like so. So that's the first way you can store power so that you have power at nighttime. You can also use that battery to swap out with your suit when the battery in your suit runs out. And it's a useful little trick for when you're starting a new base. Now the next way we're going to do it, we're going to grab our second solar panel. Do, like so. And again, we're going to make sure that it is facing the right way to track the sun. So again, the power outlet on the right, that on the left. Going to grab our glass sheets again. Do, do, do. Oh, there we go. Ah, I've misplaced my glass sheet. I do believe. Ah, there we go. So, slot in the glass sheet, like so. And now you can either use the red cable coil, which is what you'd normally spawn with, or you can use heavy cable. If you're using a lot of solar panels, use some heavy cable because otherwise you're going to blow your line. But we can use the red cable for the time being. Take your red cable, plock it down, like so, and then take the battery. This is a kit battery that you can make in your electronics printer. And we're just going to check this out of the way. There we go. And place your kit battery down, and again make sure that the input line is connected to the solar panel, like so. Now it's still not powering, and that's because you must switch it on. And this now is generating electricity. Now you'll notice that the solar panels aren't tracking the sun. <coughs> so early on what you need to do is you need a wrench and you will manually turn the solar panel to track the sun by clicking upwards to move it upwards, downwards to move it downwards. And early on in the game that is how you will track the sun. So, hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section, hit the like, and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.